Hey Golden Knights, good afternoon. It is Friday, March 27th. Uh, this is officially two weeks um, on our, our virtual or at-home distance learning platform. Um, so uh, I got a lot of positive feedback from the last time I did this, so I'm gonna try it again and, uh, and take you all through the four pillars of Nanuet Schools. I think we'll get into some more specifics next week. I'm gonna invite Dr. Fox, uh, Mr. Polizzi, and uh, Ms. Heaney on to talk a little bit about social, emotional, and academic uh, platforms in more detail. But as your superintendent, I'll, I'll take you through sort of an overview of, of where our school, where Nanuet Schools um, is living in, in the four different pillars based on, on, you know, as of the 27th of March. So first things first, uh, the plant, uh, the building. Our buildings, again, have been closed, minimal access. Um, the only change right now that we have is that because we are uh, starting Monday, uh, uh, been closed for 14 days, which is the, the recommended amount of time for quarantine. Uh, the school community, meaning myself and uh, our, our officers here, will no longer hear from the Department of Health uh, about confirmed cases in the community because there's really no actionable step that I can take um, beyond what we've done already, which is close, seal the buildings, clean them all, disinfect, bleach, and have minimal access. Uh, we've been doing that for two weeks now. And like I said in the last video, um, we're gonna hit the buildings again pretty hard with another uh, disinfectant before we return, um, which is which is you know hopefully sooner than later. Um, another aspect of, of the building that is somewhat impacted is our partnership with um, Child Care Resources of Rockland County. Um, you saw that I sent out an email earlier in the week from uh, Child Care Resources. They are partnering with the nine school districts, Rockland BOCES included, to create a, a child care platform. We had over 250 families respond in Rockland County that are essential medical workers that are in desperate need of child care. So we here in Nanuet um, have offered up three classrooms at GW Miller. Um, so when and if that location needs to be utilized for for folks in in our area um, nanuet will be a site that will support this this program um, right now um, it's happening a little bit further north and near some of the hospitals uh, but i will tell you our nurses and our custodians the nurses and the custodians it, it, all over rockland county are working together to support this child care platform. Um, Ms. Maura Hannigan, the director of our nurse, our nurses and all of our nurses here in Nanuet are collaborating with all of the nurse directors in all of our, our other districts and they are pooling their resources and they are signing up to work um, for these child care um, structures that we're setting up, hopefully as early as next Wednesday. So thank you to all of our nurses. Thank you to our maintenance folks and our, our custodians who are cleaning and disinfecting those those spaces so that we can have the medical folks um, bring their children safely to child care so that they can focus on helping um, those affected by the virus. Um, Another aspect is our business and operations. Uh, talk a little bit about that. As I said last time, most folks are working from home successfully. Uh, we do have a few unsung heroes that come in. Um, I had Elise here today, Jill, Janet, checking out um, mail. There are still some things that have to be done. I have to sign certain things um, that are important to our, our business and our operation as a nonprofit organization. So there are a few unsung heroes that do come in weekly to collect mail, to open things, to organize stuff, but everybody else is working remotely. Um, I will have to, I will, I do want to talk a little bit about our Board of Education. They are a major aspect and a governing part of our organization. Um, you know, they've been in touch. We've been contacting each other uh, throughout this entire um, two week window, and we will be running our first board meeting on Tuesday night. Um, it'll be virtually, it'll be audio only. So uh, we will send that out in a K-12. Um, they'll have a link on there so our community can listen in. It would be as if you were listening to a podcast 
um, with 10 folks on a panel talking. Uh, that's kind of the experience that you're going to have. You can't, you know, you can't speak, you can't chime in, but you can listen. And then in, in lieu of our open forum where folks who typically come to our board meetings ask questions, uh, we will have a document, a Google Doc that will be sent out uh, that'll be on our website where folks can go and they can post questions and comments that uh, that myself and the board can look at and, and respond to things uh, periodically throughout other board meetings. So that's a really important update on our operations ends. And we'll still, we'll look at some Zoom as well. Um, it just hasn't been successful in a lot of districts, uh, a lot of freezing of, of video. Um, and so we're going to start off with audio only and, 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 you know, take it one board meeting at a time. Um, the next thing is the social and emotional piece. Um, this is very real. We've heard feedback from our students, um, our parents, as young as second graders, third graders. We have students who are paralyzed by fear. We have students that are nervous and, and, and finding it hard daily to get up, plug into our distance platform and continue on business as usual, learning in the content area. Um, I can only imagine uh, how this is how this is playing out. I myself am trying to be cognizant of, of the, me watching the news with my children in the background. Um, it's a very difficult and emotional time, and we're all trying to figure this out as we've been thrust upon becoming home workers. Uh, those of us that have never done this before are doing it, and so there's a lot here. We want to maintain that Nanuet is a place where parents and students can contact us for support, for resources, just to talk. Um, to you know, we have our entire fleet of social emotional professionals that are here waiting to hear from you. So please consider us. Um, you know, a beacon of, of help and hope in, in that lane. Um, as far as the fun stuff in the social emotional, we see a lot of it happening. We see it happening in all of our school districts around in Rockland County. And then there are some all over the nation that are doing some really interesting and fun stuff. We really wanted to respect the seriousness of the metropolitan area of Rockland County, of Westchester and New York City. Um, we're a little bit different than other areas of the country in terms of confirmed cases and severity. So we wanted to roll out the fun side slowly. You all know me, you all know Nanuet. We love putting our black and gold out there. We love having huge, um, you know, pride, school pride stuff um, with our chamber, small town, big heart. There's a ton of stuff that we have in the queue right now. We have parades in the queue. We have hashtags and weekly spirit things in the queue. We just didn't feel like it was ready yet to go sort of full blast. We didn't want to put our foot on the gas there while families are still adjusting to day-to-day -day life, mine included. Um, so we're all trying to figure this out. Our staff, they're focused on meeting the children where, you know, where they are, social and emotionally and academically. So we didn't want to tax them with too many of the other broader social emotional fun pieces. But we do know that those distractions, those um, school engagement pieces are important and they will be important to us in the long haul as we roll this out. Um, just before I'm videoing this, the governor just extended us two more weeks. So um, we have plenty of time to elevate, innovate and continue to grow as a virtual school community. Um, I want to also highlight another aspect of social emotional that uh, you may not be aware of is that our coaching staff, our coaches, I've spoken to um, athletic director Frank Mazuka, assistant athletic director Phil Carbone, and our coaches are doing a fantastic job connecting with their student athletes, connecting with their teams, keeping them fit, giving them, you know, at home workouts and being there, being another social and emotional support adult coaches or teachers, they're educators. They're here for the children just as much as our teachers are, especially in this new virtual uh, experience. We're always an email away. Um, so keep that in mind that our coaching, our athletic program has really pivoted over to a social, emotional and physical support structure, as well as our PE teachers are doing the same kind of work. So thank you to all of them. And last but not least is our academic platform. Um, I just want to highlight today, there's so much to talk about here, and I think next week we'll start getting into some academic-specific posts and videos that, you know, you all can hear a little bit more of the nuances and specifics. But as far as what I can say from what I'm hearing and seeing is there is a divide right now 
between these platforms. There's a synchronist and an asynchronous. The synchronist is what you see on the Today Show and you know highlighted on a lot of the popular newsreels is where you see 30 beautiful faces and a teacher at home, you know, dressed up, performing and speaking to their class, almost as if um, they've never skipped a beat. Um, asynchronous is something very different. It's what we all started on where there are assignments being pushed out by the teacher through a Google Classroom or through, uh, you know, a different platform. The students receive the assignments. They're given, you know, a couple of days to work on stuff. Um, and then if they have questions, they can kick it around with their peers or with their teachers via email or the Google Suite, the Google Classroom. It's not live. So, those are the two competing areas right now in the academic world. And I can tell you with confidence, it doesn't mean we're not going to try to get there, but no one is fully synchronous on a daily basis, um, hundred percent of the time in all their classrooms, K-12. Um, I'm in contact with all the lower Hudson uh, Valley superintendents is about 85 of us. We share, um, survey data from all of our teachers, from all of our curriculum leaders. And trust me, most of the platform is still being done asynchronous, um, uh, because we're still trying to learn how to be teachers in this new environment. This is not what we used to do just brought over to a virtual world. That is not what's happening. We are not just taking our skill set and saying, hey, now it's all going to be done virtually. We are building a new service. We are learning, as parents are, how to be educators, how to encourage children to be lifelong learners and not paralyze them with expectations that are beyond their ability right now, especially when you layer the social emotional over that. We are in a pandemic. The last thing Nanuet Schools wants is that our academic platform is playing tug of war with our social emotional platform, okay? So we're moving at a pace that respects our community right now. We're gonna give you a survey this weekend so we can get some feedback, so that we get some real quantitative and qualitative information from our community so we can grow and move forward. Um, so we need some feedback. We're gonna put out a parent guide to at-home learning. Um, that we've been developing this past week in collaboration with our entire field in the lower Hudson Valley. Um, we are all in this together and we are all moving at a pace together. Um, together has been our word here in Nanuet. I think it says a whole lot about our, our school community. Um, you know, again, that's the last thing that I want to say is that we are not replicating school virtually. That is not our intent. Our intent is to work with our parents our guardians, those of you who are at home doing the heavy lifting with your children, we're here to be social and emotional support people. We are here to be academic support folks as well. We want our children to be inquisitive, lifelong learners. There's a lot of stuff in this environment that they're going, they're going to internalize. We want to be there. We want to meet them where they are. The last thing we want to do is be seen as another organization that is causing angst for the families. We are a community service as a public school and we wanna maintain that mission. So we will grow academically, we will innovate as Nanuet always does, but we're gonna do that and the social emotional stuff at a pace that is consistent with what our community needs. And we're gonna keep tapping you all with surveys so that we're always in touch. Um, this is gonna be a back and forth for a while. So we, we, we really encourage a lot of participation on those surveys because that's your voice so that we can help build a better version of this new type of educating children and supporting school communities. So thank you all Golden Knights. Let's do this together. We can't do it separate. We can't do it against. We have to do it together. I have on my board here, hashtag Nanuet together. Um, so thank you all folks. Uh, we love you all. Stay positive and stay in touch. Go Golden Knights.